All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to a premiere of David E. Taylor Full Frontal Exposure, where everybody's opinion is still a lie. A couple things. Once again, I'm going to run you through this, and then I'm going to talk about the emails in the meantime while I'm doing that, okay? So here we go. 13909, David, another set going out. And I want everybody to know, like, <laughs> I've already stamped these envelopes, and I've stamped the flags upside down. <laughs> okay. So, this form, 13909, name of referred organization. This is, this, guys, this is how, this, why I push this agenda is because this is how this stops. This is the only way this will stop, okay? The only way it will stop is if we file these reports against him, okay? And it has to be mass. It has to be mass reports, guys. We have to play the long game together. If you want to play the long game, let's jump in it together. Let's do it together, guys. Help help me help. The, let's do it together. Help, help us help them. That's what these people need now. These people need to get the fuck out. I'm just, I was just talking to one of my contacts. And we, we pretty much agree that David's done at this point. He's done. He is absolutely finished. There's nothing he can do to stop what's happening in this point. Um, and just real quick, the emails, guys, I've sent those out exclusively, okay, to certain people, all right? I've sent them out where they're going to do the most damage to David, okay, for sure. I haven't sent them out to everybody yet, okay? Um, the people that have them, have them for a reason, okay? I've made those exclusive because the emails are horrible, guys. They're fucking horrible, dude. And once one, I'm not, and it's not that I don't want to give them to you. I want them to remain exclusive to us, okay? Because once one person has them, then everybody fucking has them, all right? Right now, they're in the hands where they're going to do the most damage, all right? And David, that's in the Christian world, okay? Uh, David, I've put those out to pastors that have come forward and have gave stories about you. And guess what? Those are now being filtered out to other churches, okay? So guys, the emails are right where they should be. Once I get them figured out, Okay, I have more that I'm going to put, put on Patreon. I'm going to put the one with the death threat from Marcellus. I'll put all the emails and interactions and shit from the cult members that I have. All right, but just give me some time. But those ones are going to remain exclusive for now. I do apologize. It's nothing personal, but these ones are fucked up, okay? And this, this, this correspondence was about a week or so with me and David. It wasn't Jenny. This, this was David fully on a drug-fueled drug, <laughs> drug fucking rant to maybe somehow provoke some... some something for me to come out and read the emails, but I'm not going to do that because they're bad. They're that bad, guys. They're that bad. So, without ado, David, 13909, tax-exempt complaint, tax-exempt organization complaint referral. This is how this is done, guys. This is the only way it can be done is, is with paper, okay? So, name of referred organization, JMMI. This is already done for you guys, too. K-O-G-G-C. Marbles in America, World Healing. Only way this can be done, y'all. And what I put on this, these are done for you guys. This is just the way I do it, okay? Um, I put C, everything is C reverse on this one because I feel, I hand it, I hand, hand fill everything. C reverse for um, details. And I put all the, this is exactly how I do it right here. I got chicken scratch writing, I know. But this is exactly how I do it when I'm doing it. C reverse for details. Same on everything. Because they got so many fucking houses. Data referral. You put 913. 22. And then I put I put the three most active, the three most recent EINs. Okay, that's that's what I put here. And that's what I've done on that too. I might update it and put all five of them. That way the IRS knows, hey, they've given this fucking organization five different tax ID numbers. And each time they fucked them over. All right. So this is where we got to get kind of down and dirty with the ID numbers is to let the IRS know that they are indeed taking multiple exemptions at one time. And fuck, I can't do that. Why Why can't I? All right, so JMMI is 33-117-4241. Then you got Kingdom of God Global Church. That's the one they're under right now. That's the second tax ID number. It's going to be 8 triple one nine five. 992. And again, these are all on the forms, you guys. All right. These are already filled out for y'all. And then Marvels in America World Healing is 85076607. It's like that. Okay. Line two. Now we're going to go into line three. <clears throat> Nature's a violation. <clears throat> 
David, you can't fucking stop this, dude. And somebody brought up a good point that I should forward these emails. Like the, the other emails, the other emails, the death threats, I've sent those out already. Those have been sent out. Trust me. I put those in the hands of the law. Fuck yeah, I did because those were cyber threats. I put that in the hands of the law right away. Don't think for one second, Marcel, that I didn't put those in the government's hands, okay? That's absolutely where they went. Directors, officers, persons are using income assets for personal gain. Yes. Organizations engage in commercial for-profit business activities. Yes. <clears throat> income assets are being used to support illegal or terrorist activities. Yes. This is where it get, oh, terrorist activities because, one, he's using a fucking money laundering firm, in my opinion, using a loan shark where... 1% shareholder lives in America and mom is over in Morocco is 99% shareholder holder. Where do you think the money's going when Yan Al Devico gets it? It's going straight over to fucking Morocco. It ain't staying here in the States. He's fucking sending it straight out. Bam, wiring it straight home to Morocco. Bye-bye. That money ain't ever fucking coming back, David. No can he's not involved in campaigning, not lobbying activities. Refuse to disclose or provide a copy of Form 990. Yes. They have to fucking file. They can't not just file taxes, guys. Saying they don't have to perform, fucking show a 990 where the money's going. Bull fucking shit, dude. That is how money laundering happens. Is that they, they say, oh, we don't have to show where the money goes. Yeah, bullshit. They're failing to report taxes. File federal tax and returns. Yes. In deceptive or improper fundraising pro practices. Fuck yeah. That's the big one on here. Organization engaged in deceptive or improper fundraising practices. It's a full-blown fucking religious Ponzi scheme, David. That is it. That is absolutely 100% what you are doing. Organization engaged in deceptive or improper fundraising practices. You got the stage, which is a fucking lie. The Convoy of Miracles, which is an absolute fucking lie. What else? Uh, you got the Amway Arena, which is also a huge fucking lie. You guys, this is why we do this is why I do this, guys, because all this shit here is absolutely what David's doing. 100 percent Fuck yeah. If, if you guys look at the forms, these are all filled out for you guys. Fill them out. Send them in, man. This is long form. Once I finish up these forms, I guarantee I'm gonna be printing out the short form and I'm fuck, it's gonna make my life a lot easier. Until I we figure out what happens with this piece of shit. Until we see him audited, until we see his ass on the fucking news or I get word that he's been arrested for federal crimes, these are going to continue. The IRS can't stop this. They are, they're allowing the behavior. we got to pull the IRS's card and be like, no, you guys are fucking fucking up, right? This is where it's happening at, guys. The IRS, within our own government, they're allowing the behavior of this. Failed to report employment, income, or excise tax, li tax liability property. Yeah, he's taking $30,000 PPP loans, not paying his employees, his volunteers, right? Other, let's see, received, I'm going to put that received $30,000 PPP loan and didn't pay staff. Paid attorney fees instead. That's what, dude, that's, that's what the fuck I'm putting on here. Because you got that loan right around the time you were going through the court case with Harold Lewis. You better have fucking proof for that 30 grand, David. Paid attorney fees for court case. In St. Louis. I bet they're going to really fucking dig that, David, to find out you use fucking government funds to pay for court cases. They're not going to fucking believe you. Once they start uncovering your shit, they ain't going to believe a word you fucking say, David. They're going to be like, damn, why didn't we notice this fucking before? <clears throat> Name of persons involved. Piece of shit, David E. Taylor. I'm putting all the names that go on here. Michelle Brannon. Ashley Ware. Tony, you're on there too. Tony Bastianelli. Steve Smith. Let's see, we got LaMarcia. McDonald. David, Michelle, who are the main? We got Steve, Joseph Bush. God, there's so many fucking names, man. IRS really making me work for this shit, huh? Joseph, 
Steve, Tony, Ashley, who's up there? Mariah. I don't know Mariah's last name, though. I'm not sure of her last name. Really not. Let's see here. Dates. Fuck, I'm going to put 2013 to current. That's longer than that. Fuck. I'm going to put 2013 to current on this one. Dollars amount. Dollar amounts have known. Right now, what I'm thinking David's probably brought in in the last, since 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, eight, nine years. Man. Let's say 60 to 120 million. Got all the properties. Where'd all that money come from, David? Got all them fucking properties, dude. Let's see. Organizational titles. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, CEO, <laughs> CFO. Let's see, description of activities, money laundering. And he's using real estate, y'all. Using real estate. purchases I mean if he didn't need if he really didn't David dude you're fucking up man fucking up um and then on this I put C nature's a violation above it's above See human trafficking. I always put human trafficking because there is human trafficking going on. For sure, David, you're not, dude. You know what the fuck you're doing, man. You know what the fuck you're doing, and you're gonna use religion to try to get out of it. You're fucking smarter than you, though, dude. You really are. This group's smarter than you, David. You can't fucking get over it. I am concerned on my face reality, retaliation or retribution if my identity is, enclosed, is disclosed. Yes, I do, but I absolutely know that my identity has already been disclosed to these assholes. Which is absolutely why they haven't done anything. Somebody brought up a good point about sending the emails out. I think I might have said that already. And it was, uh, I think it was Manny Guzman, dude. Manny Guzman said, dude, send the, send the emails out to the lawyers, to his lawyers. But at the end of the day, Manny Guzman, like really what his lawyers are going to do, do to that, they're going to laugh. They're going to laugh at it and be like, you know, for the most part, that's what they're going to do. The lawyers, the lawyers will laugh. The death threat's a little bit different. But when you read, these emails are very derogatory, man. Pretty bad. I mean, they're, it's like referencing small hands to your genitalia and shit like that. That's, that's what that email was talking about. It's, it's really fucking disgusting. Yeah. And David, those are going out to the Christian world. You think you're going to be able to preach at another church again? You're fucking wrong, dude. I guarantee that. And that's where you're going to hurt. Okay. That's where you're going to hurt is you're never going to be able to preach at another church again because of how bad and and how fucking shitty of a person you are. You're not a prophet, dude. David, you are far from a prophet. You're not a prophet. You're not an apostle. You're a compulsive scam artist. You're a liar. You're a fraud. You've never healed anything. You can't even heal your fucking cholesterol, your diabetes, or your hairline, David. What makes you think you can go out and heal fucking people like you say you are? At the Amway Arena? Yeah, you're full of shit. Part of your deceptive fucking practices. Taking in false false fucking deposits under the Amway Arena's name. That is way fucking deceptive because you're not going to fucking fill that arena, you piece of shit. Now I always put here, occupation or business. I, I tell them self-employed. That way it's like when they look at it like, yeah, this guy's a fucking taxpayer and they're going to, I don't know. That's what, I, what the fuck ever. The IRS probably doesn't give a shit about me or you for that matter. Uh, or else if they did, they would have fucking stopped this sack of shit already. They would have got off their fucking asses with that $80 billion and they would have went and fucking nailed this piece of shit to the wall and said, nope, you're done. You're done, David. We're going to take your card. But nope, that hasn't happened yet because the IRS is either in on it or they just... Fucking, they're going to use that $80 billion to go on a nice long vacation. So, the address is now on the back, back side of this page. All right. That's where I put all the addresses at for David. So, this is fucking... David, make him... You did this, David. 
And the thing is, is I just put the addresses and the city. That's it. I don't really give the zip code. They can look up the address and see because most of these houses are really exclusive. Like there's no other addresses like these. I've tried to see if there is, and there's no other addresses like these. So if you're if you're if you're long forming these, just put the address and the city. You don't need to put like zip code or anything like that. Put put address and city. Then put so seven oh six Wasano de Avia. That's in Tampa, twelve eighty, Southwest thirty eighth Street. That's in Ocala, Florida. Now we got a 15-400 10 page. <clears throat> Drive. That's in Chesterfield. Missouri. 18-205 Hager Lane. Which is a really nice property also. That's also in Chesterfield. Missouri. Also, 18207 Hager Lane, which is also in the bright next door to 18205. Go figure, right? Then we got, let's see here. Nellie's house, which is 17329 Hidden Valley Drive. Wildwood, Missouri. That one's not Chesterfield. That's Wildwood. But Wildwood and Chesterfield are pretty much right next to each other. They, they butt up. The zip codes are pretty much right next to each other. So they butt up to each other. Uh, let's see here. Fucking. Okay. One, two, three, four, seven, oh, six. Then, oh, yeah. 1216 Babbler Park Court. And that one's just property, guys. That's just a big piece of land. That's also up in Wildwood. Okay. Okay, that's the thirteen nine oh nine. That's that. Now for this one, this is this one's a little bit more simple. I'm not going to go into short, long form on this one. This is also another one. Information referral, Department of the Treasury, IRS information referral. Use this form to su if to report suspected tax law violations by a person or business. They are running their cult like a business, so I file this also. Okay. I, I ultimately think though this is the one that's going to have more pull right here is the 13909 that's i because that's for a tax exempt right this is still this one this i think this one has just as much pull because now you know what two or two different organizations within the IRS are getting fraud reports okay so that's why i do this one too is because this one it's it gives a little bit more details about other shit you know false exemptions organized crime multiple filings uh, let's see Wagering, gambling, other describing five. Let's see, human trafficking. Money laundering. And I just put in some keywords here, guys. We're all sitting back watching, going what's, what's going on with this asshole. Let's see, we probably throw some real estate fraud in there too. Real estate fraud. Yes, Crosby Capital, USA, is the loan where David is a place where David got a loan from. And that's gonna be um, fuck thirteen, uh, sixteen. I forgot it. Let's see here. I think it's sixteen eighty eight Meridian Avenue. Yeah, 1688 Meridian Avenue, 6th floor. So 1688 Meridian Avenue. It's in, uh, fucking, what is it? Miami Beach. Nice place, Daniel. Living in a fucking nice place, man. Laundering all that money down there in Miami Beach after you just got done doing some shit up in New York. Yeah, you're a real fucking stand-up guy. Florida, 33139. Then they also go through Chase Bank. Let the IRS figure that one out. I'm, I don't know the fucking account number. If I did, I'd be putting it on there for sure. So we got 18, 19 for the tax years, 20, 21. So 12, uh, 15, uh, 
17, I got 15, I got, let me put 12 mil here. I don't know, man, we never know what these numbers. Put my name. I wish I could write David's a piece of shit on here, but probably kick it back. Phone number. Best time to call any. You guys, I have never got a fucking call from the IRS. And you know what? I probably never, you'll probably never get one either. Unless you fuck them over. So you got to put all your legal information on this, guys. You have to. On this one, th it's not. On, on the 20, 3949, it's not required. You don't have to put it on there. On the 13909... It does say I am concerned right here. Look, it, it does say right here. I am concerned that I might face re retaliation or retribution if my identity is disclosed. So you mark that You mark that box right there. I mean, the IRS investigations are fucking confidential anyways, right? Now, if, say the IRS did drop this information to whoever they're investigating and you started getting fucked with by them. That would be the IRS. You could, tech, you could fucking probably sue the IRS at that point for releasing your personal information to somebody who they're investigating right i that's i i don't know i don't know the legalities behind it but i would like to think if if they did under those circumstances you'd probably sue the fucking shit out of them all right and you'd probably win you would probably win in that situation i don't know i've never tested it i don't i'm just guessing you guys this is my opinion these are federal documents these are federal fucking forms right here that if they ever get brought up in an investigation they're going to go back and look at all these forms and they're going to start pushing shit around and be like, okay, who started filing all these? Why Why didn't we pay attention to this? So let's see. This is for... This is for you, Michelle. This is this is for you. The last one was David's. Put 12 mil. 17. What was it? 15. 17. 15. See, same thing. I'm going to put human trafficking. Let's see. We got money laundering. Real estate fraud. He's pushing all the money through real estate, guys. That's his get down. That's the only way he can clean all his money is through real estate. Same thing, Crosby Capital USA. 1688 Meridian Avenue. Miami Beach, Florida. 33139. I put Chase Bank again. Actually kind of slipped up once night and said, oh, you could just do it through Chase Bank, which leads me to believe that they're that for sure banking through Chase. And also someone else kind of confirmed to one of my sources that they are that they have a bank through Chase. So they do have a bank account. And I, what I found out is Joseph's the one who's signing checks. So Joseph, I know you're signing checks, buddy. Not a good idea, dude. You don't want to be signing those checks, my man. Telling you. Make David's fucking lame ass fucking sign them, Joseph. They're not going to be good, dude, when they come after. They, Joseph, good word of advice, dude. Don't sign those checks. Make Michelle make Michelle sign them. Make Prophetess Michelle sign them since she's so fucking badass. Anytime. Okay, that's it. That's it for those. That's all I do on those. So that was what, 10, 15 minutes? That's just what it takes for me to do it. Like longhand. Once the shorthand guys, I've gone longer on these and put in like detailed more information, but I just want to get these out today. So one goes to IRS, PO box 3801, Ogden, Utah. And that's one of David's tax reform right, tax returns. That's where it was it stamped Ogden, Utah. Bam, W two went to Ogden, Utah. So we know for sure that David has filed his taxes. Okay, so there. That's why when I what was dope about this is the fact that it's going to Ogden, Utah. Is 
is good because again there's a paper trail there tra tracing David's paper trail and they're going to connect these dots here hopefully be nice if they would but who knows they just got all that money but you can't buy fucking common sense definitely when it comes to IRS agents that's for sure this is my opinion again guys okay other one is going to Dallas Texas so it's going to this one is more important I believe the IRS EO classification okay this is let's see 1100 Commerce Street Dallas Texas 75242 that's it that's it guys that's long form the, the short form should take you about uh, pff, two minutes. That's it. That's it. I, we made the forms available for you like that, guys. Because people requested it in the very beginning. Like, hey, make the forms available for us so we can help. Let, let us all get involved. So we did that. We did that. The forms are now available. It is that easy now. And guess what? When we start going after the next one, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to start filing fraud against them too. Big time. Because these people are doing some fucking shady, shady shit with money, dude. Catherine Creek, you are too. You're traveling the fucking world on your donor on your donor's deposits, man. That's your get down. You're fucking just traveling the world having a grand old fucking time. Hallelujah! You've been healed. Catherine Creek's here. She's fucking amazing. She's, she's healed everybody. Fucking psycho. I want to get to a comment too real quick. Somebody brought up here. It was a badass comment. And this was from... William Don. William Don. Fucking badass comment. I'm going to ping your comment actually, dude. It's pinned. You got to be nuts to believe it. There should be a law on how far you take religion. I can understand teaching from the Bible, but this is far from religion. I don't know what you would call this brain, call this brainwashing. I know for a fact this ain't religion. Dude, yeah, absolutely. There has to be a limit. Absolutely, dude. This is what we're trying to get, the point we're trying to get across here, William Don, is there's got to be a fucking limit to this. These people is just... They think that their shit honestly doesn't stink, William Don. That's why they're doing it. Is because it's like... It's... They think they can get away with it. They think they're going to get away with, with robbing people blind, but they can't anymore. They can't because there's social media, man. There's social media, and social media is fucking working so fast that David can't outrun what he's done. He can't. David, you've ruined yourself. You've ruined yourself. And William Don, that's... Dude, you brought... That's... That's probably one of the most valid fucking arguments, bro. Okay? That is probably one of the most valid arguments that... You hit it spot on, dude. You hit it spot on. There has to be a limit. There has to be a limit to this. You got IRS agents up there making the determination on who's a church, sitting behind a fucking desk. Oh, yeah, they're a church. Go ahead. They can have their exemption. Yeah, go ahead. I bet nobody even goes down there, audits their building, looks at their church. No, you think the IRS is doing that? Nope, they're fucking handing out the exemptions, man. Handing them out, handing them out. Here you go. Free money, fucking launder money. And that's exactly what they are doing. David is absolutely laundering money, and he's using, because he's using the tax code to do it. He's using our very own tax code, the laws that our government put in place to prevent people from doing this. He's using the own code against them. He really is. He's doing it real effective, man. I can't believe that the IRS is actually allowing it to go on for this long. For this, for this to happen, I mean, the IRS is just blatantly sitting up there not giving a fuck, okay? At the end of the day, the IRS doesn't give a shit. But you know what they will give a shit about is me, you, Hard workers fucking bending over backwards to make ends meet, shit like that. You know who they'll go after first is us, right? They won't fuck with David. 
we got to create a huge ass paper trail in order for that to happen. That's why I urge everybody get involved with this man. You got, if you've asked your question, you've asked the question. If you sat here, damn, why is this guy in jail? Or how can we? How can this guy not be in jail? Was there a process to to getting this guy put in jail? What's what are we doing wrong here? Why? What can we do to complain and, and make a noise about him? What can we do? Have, if you've ever asked yourself that question, guys, there is a way. There is a way, but we just have to do it. Okay, it's not going to get done by sitting back and just and just hoping it gets done. That's why I took the active approach to it, guys, to show you you have nothing to be scared of. David, we're not fucking scared of you. I'm definitely not fucking scared of you. Okay? Your little fucking emails and shit, like they're absolutely disgusting. They're out they're out in the Christian world already. They are, David, and they're going to go to more people. Okay? They're going to go to more people that are going to see how bad they're going to see the depths of your cult with just with these emails. Just with these emails. And you guys, again, the emails, they're, they're where they're at for a reason, okay? I, I want, I know you guys want to see them, but dude, you guys, this is a bunch of bullshit what's going on with this. It really is. I don't see how he's getting away with it, which is why I want to make them exclusive because once one person has them, everybody has them, guys. All right, and people are telling me, hey, you should make some exclusive content. So, okay, I'll make these emails exclusive because these are fucked up emails, guys. Once I get them all redacted, they're going to stay on my Patreon, guys, okay? Because people have been encouraging me to start a Patreon and go about it this way. So I'm going to do that, okay? I'm going to do that. And it's not because I'm money hungry or anything, but I, there's stuff I want to do to continue this process. There's books. There, there's fucking books I want to get. Uh, I want to update the studio so I can bring you guys better content. I want to go full-blown with this, guys, okay? I want to go full-blown activist i eventually get the nonprofit running and get that set up so we can have a safe place for these people to get the fuck out when they need to that's the long-term goal here guys long term is safe houses right here in america right here in a fucking right here in our own fucking backyard so these people whenever they because distance distance guys is the key with these is distance we need to get them distance and help right away that's it those are the two main things they need for, to get out of these cults. A safe place to stay, distance, f food, clothing, a safe place to stay where they can feel secure. Really. And that's my long-term goal in this. So some of the content, guys, it's it, it's going to remain exclusive, okay? Because some of the shit I've done to go through, I've, I've gone through like channel strikes and shit, like that shit fucking stressed me out, right? Because you guys see the work we're doing here? I have to maintain some of the exclusivity of on the content now because of, of the growth, all right? Some of the shit, if... If you've been a supporter of the channel, you you probably have already got it, okay? That's just, I'm not, guys, I'm sorry, sorry, okay? These emails are fucked up. I don't want everybody having them, okay? Because they're fucking dirty. They have names in them with, okay? That's why. There's names in them that I, I don't want anybody to have, okay? So some of them are exclusive. They've gone exactly where they need to be, everybody, okay? In time, I'll probably release them eventually, okay? But for now, they're staying exclusive, okay? Um, they are bad. <laughs> and it, David, again, I'm going to send those out to more fucking news agencies and shit. Okay. Just be aware. Those are going to get sent out into the world, dude. Eventually. Just not right now. They're going to remain exclusive. They're going to remain real exclusive to certain people that I've been speaking to. Okay. So you guys, I do apologize for that. It's just, this is just what's going on, man. This just shows like how dangerous this cult is that they don't care. They don't give a shit. David doesn't. This is a full-blown human trafficking cult, guys, okay? Might not think so, but all the dynamics are there for it. Everything is right in place for it. And I didn't make up the dynamics the DHS website did and fucking human rights activists and shit like that made up the trafficking laws and rules. Not me. They just put them on online so we could look at them, and they're there. So Don, Don William, William Don, dude, your your comment, man. Fuck yeah, man. I'm I'm right up there with you, dude. I am right up there with you, man. You gotta be nuts to believe them. And the people are sitting like David's cult members are probably those guys are fucking crazy. Look at them out there. Those guys are nuts. There's this great apostle here, and he's great, and he's doing all these great things for us. I mean, honestly, what has he done for you guys, though? Ask yourself that question. 
Ashley, Steve, Tony, Joseph, what has David actually done for you? We, I, we see everything that you guys do. You know, you guys post shit on social media, Facebook. We're looking at your pages. Don't think for one second we're not seeing what you guys post. And it's you're not doing anything with the money except fucking have, blowing it on yourselves. Whatever little money you guys are getting, David, the IRS is going to know about it now, okay? Um, you guys get involved. Help us help these people get out of here. Let's get these, let's stop this guy. This is the only way it's going to stop, man. Only way it's going to stop is bureaucratically. By paperwork. By paperwork. The short, it's the long game, guys, and it sucks. It sucks. It can't be a short game. Again, the IRS, the IRS isn't just gonna go fucking walk up on David's door and knock and be like, "Hey, can we see your books today, sir?" No, they ain't gotta do that. Why? Why would they? Think of the fucking shit storm the IRS has on their hand right now with all the fraud going on, man. We might as well make them aware more of it because think of how much money that could be being pumped back into our system: social services, welfare, shit like that, VA pensions, veterans. David, you are, you guys, David's taking VA pensions too, okay? Just let you know. David is also scamming VA pensions. If you got a VA pension and he knows about it, he's going to try and get it. I know he's already got some, guys. I know David's already scammed some VA pensions, and I've reported that too. Because you know what, David? The VA isn't going to fly too well with you fucking scamming VA pensions like that, man. They are not going to dig that. So keep that in mind, David, before you take money from another VA pensioner, okay? Think about that real fucking long and hard what you're doing because if you do that, it's not going to do good for you. The government doesn't like that, David. The government doesn't like when you take government funds like that. I think that's going to be it, guys. I just want to throw those reports up so everybody, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. If you've, had, if you've sat there and asked yourself that question, how is this allowed to go on? Why hasn't there been a limit set, like William Don said here? Brought up a damn valid point. Why is there no fucking limit to this? These guys just to get away fucking pushing money around and saying they're these great prophets and apostles and shit, and they can fucking get these te tax exemptions? You got some fucking clown sitting up at the IRS with no fucking head on their shoulders, just going through the process, signing papers. Here's your exemption. Have a nice day. I'll get the exempt... I'll print out the the letters from the IRS. I'll print the letters out from the IRS, guys. The determination letters. And I'll show how how and why there's a breakdown in the system with these nonprofits being handed out. I'll show everybody. Or you can go on the IRS website and look for yourself, but I'll, I'll print the papers out so you guys can see them. I mean, every time there's, there's, a, there's somebody else different making the determination. Think that helps? No, fuck no. Fuck no. They just send in the paperwork. They probably don't ever fucking see David. They probably have no fucking clue who David E. Taylor is. They're like, oh yeah, David E. Taylor, who, okay, here, we'll just give this guy a tax exemption. He sounds like a stand-up guy. Let's just give him all the fucking money, and let's not ever look into him ever again. Let's just sit here with our heads up our ass and fucking hand him more mo money laundering fucking ways. <laughs> fucking IRS, man. People wonder why there's such a disconnect, too, with our government and the system. Again, I'm not here to spread conspiracy theories or politics. I don't, I don't vote, guys. I don't fucking vote because at the end of the day, and I, dude, our government does not fucking care. Okay? And it, this shows right here, just with religion, the very foundation, right, of our, of our fucking, of our country, or of our fucking great country, religion is the very first institution to start breaking down. Right? It really is. The religious institution, in my opinion, when you start having institutions do this shit, like that's a sign that the whole the whole system is starting to fall apart because the, the government can't even control the religious institution anymore. What does that tell you? What's that tell you? That's my eyes are wide fucking open, man. Tells me a lot that the that the government's out of control, that they, they have no control anymore. When they can't even control their own entities. The the religious institution that is the foundation. It's in our fucking constitution and civil rights and bill of rights and all that shit. It's all, it's all there. God's mentioned numerous times. Now it's out of control. Get, well, guess what? Like We need to make them aware. We need to make our government aware. We need to get them off their asses. We need to make them do their fucking jobs, everybody. We're paying them. If you're an employee, say, 
if you're if you own a business, right? Are you gonna let your employee just come there and sit back and fucking? Yeah, I'm not gonna do shit today. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna sit here and yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. That's what the pretty much what the IRS is doing. They're not doing anything about it. We need to file more reports against them, guys. We gotta get this. This is the only way it will stop bureaucratically. That being said, David, thank you for the emails. Keep them coming. All right, because I'm David. Those emails are fucking horrible, dude. Keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. All right, you guys. This isn't. This isn't gonna stop until David's been arrested, man. He's got. He's gonna get arrested eventually. It's just time. It's a time game now. It's a marathon, y'all. It's not a sprint to the finish. Like, put on your fucking running shoes, everybody, because this is a fucking long run.